Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a mod for the flatbed trailer that adds the car transporter to the game, which is really quite mysterious because the picture for it is just a question mark. So let's go ahead and spawn this thing up so you can see what it actually looks like. And for the most part, it looks like a normal trailer that you would attach to a big rig, except it has this strange box next to it. So what's that about? Well, let me show you by swapping out my truck for a different car because I don't feel like driving a pickup truck at the moment. And then we're just going to drive right onto that platform. So normal abishu pessima do a little bit of an e-brake maneuver right there to perfectly line it up so we just drive straight onto this and then once we're on it we're going to hit the parking brake go back to the trailer and you'll notice the trailer actually has some new buttons it has two cargo door buttons a lift vertical and a lift horizontal so let me show you how these work first you're going to want to open the second cargo door which is o in my case and it opens a door right there you didn't see that coming did you then you're going to want to do a lift vertical to lift the car up into the air and then you can do a lift horizontal, which sounds kind of weird to say because lift and horizontal don't usually go together in my mind, but lift horizontal to put it into the truck. And uh, once the car's in there, you could go ahead and get the car and drive it forward a few feet and you can fit multiple cars into this thing super easily. So there's car number one. We're just going to go ahead and park it right there. And then we'll put in two more cars. So we'll get another Ibishu Pessima. It's going to be the history of the Ibishu Pessima. Then we have to go back to this and we're going to actually have to open it up again. And you got to do it the reverse order of last time. If you don't do it in the exact correct order, things get really ugly. I'll show you what I mean later on. But for now, I'm trying not to break everything. That means you do horizontal, then you do vertical. So let's park this pessima on this thing as well. And you'll notice you could actually go through the corners right there to make it a little easier to get onto it. And then we go to the trailer again. We're going to do the lift vertical, lift horizontal. And it is in there, and we should have enough room for one more car if we drive this thing as forward as we possibly can, which I will do. So, just going to bump it up against this other Bishu. Both the wheels are off, but it's just barely inside the platform. Let's see uh, what actually happens here. So, do the horizontal. All right, it stayed in. That's great. And then vertical. Then we got to decide on the next car. So, since these are all Bishus, why don't we do one more Bishu? We'll get an Bishu Miramar, and again, just a normal version. We'll park this thing in, same as we did with the last one, so nice and easy. There we go. And then up it goes. So make sure I do this right. Up first. And then actually, it's going to hit the other car, so before we do anything here, we're going to back it up a tad. And then a little bit more. Uh, that should fit. So we go back over to here, and then we do the horizontal. In perfect fit. It got both the cars in there. So we can close the door and now we just need to attach a trailer to this thing to actually drive it around and i think we need a pretty beefy trailer here since that is a three vehicles so we'll get the beefiest one there is the t75 long haul fifth wheel upfit and all we gotta do is attach the trailer and then we're driving three cars to whatever destination i please pretty easily the hardest part is probably going to be lining up the truck because i'm really bad at backing things up but the trailer's not attached so it shouldn't be that hard right right that was nice and easy maybe a little bit more going and there so hit the attach trailer button which is l trailer attaches three cars are in let's see if they remain through ybr's amazing driving capabilities where we bounce the trailer all over the place i figure we'll start off with just driving on a normal road and then we'll try crashing all over the road and if that still works maybe we'll jump it off a cliff or something that's uh the general plan right here so first off kind of cut that corner a little bit try to get a little bit rough Seems like the trailer does not care though, it is holding on perfectly fine and we're about to reach 40 miles per hour, so we're getting up to speed. It's a big rig after all, it does not get up to speed fast, but it will get there eventually. Although, before that happens, I think we're going to be hitting some corners. Now I gotta think, what do I really want to do on these corners? The first one I guess we'll do it normally, make sure they stay in a normal corner. And then after that, we'll start to go a little bit crazy with things. I'll try to beat up the thing while keeping it drivable, so right here, regular corner, 70 miles per hour. And then corner two, we dive in like this and see if that makes the cars fall out at all. Looks like it didn't. My truck is going way up the road. Woo. All right. The truck still looks okay. So you know what? Let's try to tip it right here. We just got to do some real aggressive maneuvers and tipping, tipping. Can we recover? Can we recover? Kind of. I'm a little bit off the road, unfortunately, but it's okay. All right. What else can we possibly do? We could just slam into the wall a little bit and see what happens. So just right into it and not much. Like I wanted to make sure my truck was still functional when I slammed it into the wall, which kind of limited my attempts there. Because the next thing we're going to do is jump and see what happens when we jump. This is going to be a little bit harder, though, because the truck is pulling hard to the left now. I'm trying just to keep it on the road, and it's just going left, 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 left. All right, stay on the road. 
and then stay left right here so we can hit that jump hopefully oh no there are too many rocks at the corner i didn't realize it oh i think the truck might be dead like there are so many uh messages in the top left corner there's my wheels just bouncing away yeah i see you oh Oh, okay, yeah, you go ahead and jump off the cliff while I was the one who wanted to. You know what? I'm going to pull this truck off the cliff if I can. Come on, truck. Yep, that's the front of the truck. Okay, try again. Grab the truck. Come on. Nope, oh, that's the radiator, I think. Okay, try again. Apparently, the truck is so heavy, it won't even go. I'm pulling it as hard as I can. Nothing's happening. Maybe we need to pull it from a different spot. We'll try right here by the back of the truck and nothing. How about if we go the other direction? Yes. 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 Finally, it's falling. Oh, come on. All right, we're going to just yank the truck, and hopefully the truck will yank the rest of it down. So there we go. And the truck just fell off. Okay, forget you, truck. I'm focused on this trailer now. We got to get this trailer to fall off. I've done all this. It's going to fall. Let's go, trailer. All right, the wheels are stuck. We got to try to grab by the wheel. Oh, we got it falling. We got it. Finally, it's falling. Okay. <laughs> it popped open a little bit like it's trying to yell at me. Stop throwing me off of cliffs. <laughs> I don't care what you guys say. Oh, and you can see in there, the cars are all piled up. Wait, I only see two cars. Oh, there. You can just barely see the Miramar. It's all crunched up. Let me try to get a camera. There you go. There's the Miramar. Well, nothing else we could do here, so I'm going to reset everything, and I'm going to drive the cars back into the truck off camera. Okay, everything is set up just the same as before, but the trailer door is open. So we're going to see if the car falls out, although the camera angle for this is going to be a little bit awkward because we got to keep it low enough where we can actually see under the little flap. And then we got to keep it zoomed out enough to see everything as well. So it doesn't really give me much room to uh, align the camera. Where I can see how I'm driving as I just drive straight through the dirt. That was great. All right. So let's see if we can do any hard corners. We got to go hard to the right to make it fall off. It's not going to do anything if we corner hard left because it's just going to push it into the wall. We need something that will push it to the right. And I think I just popped a tire on the trailer. Thankfully, it has a billion tires back there. Shouldn't be a huge problem. In fact, it might be useful because it'll upset the balance making it easier to swing this thing around hmm strategic tire popping it is all right so first real good right hand corner we're gonna go hard yes haha -ha! i also uh completely dislodged the trailer in the process but we did get the car to fall out now the better question is can we get it to fall out without detaching the trailer in the process let's set everything back up and see what happens once again, setup is the same, so let's go ahead and get to driving. This time, we're going to go to the left, and after this, we're going to go to a different map. I probably should have done it before this one, but this is a really good area to try to get a car to fall out of the truck, it feels like. So I wanted to try it here, even though I've already gone this direction before. First thing we're going to do is just kind of get it in the dirt right there, see if that little bump would help at all, and it did not. And as you can tell, I'm pretty much just watching the cars in the rear, not my truck, because I am all over the place. And yes, it does look like there's a right turn eventually. No, you should not take it. That bridge is not a full bridge. It's actually broken in the middle, and there's no way you could go across it with this car. There is simply no way it would happen. So instead, we're going to just go to the left, which is the same direction we went the first time, where I was driving all up the walls and stuff. This time, though, we got to drive a little bit better, although I can still do this one pretty fast to try to get that car to fly out. Now, the parking brakes are off on all the vehicles. I thought that might be the best to make it fall out, but I really don't know here. So that might be a good shot right there to get the fall out. Yes. Haha. -ha! I got to fall off in a very violent way. And this trailer should be fully functional. I even get to hit the car with my truck now. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. Nope. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just jackknifed. You win this round, car. You win this round. And I am really stuck. So I think the next thing I want to try to do is more like crash testing type stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way over to the crash testing map which is grid map which i scrolled too far for now remember earlier when i mentioned that the order that you do things is really important let me show you why i said that so we're going to spot up a trailer we're going to open it up and then we're going to put a truck in it nothing abnormal once the truck is in that's where things start to get weird so put it right on the platform like so make sure it's uh, on there properly good then we're going to go back to the truck we're going to raise it Oh, and it's starting to tip the truck a little bit. Look at that. I call it the truck, but it's just a trailer. Anyways, we put the truck into the trailer, and then we could do some dumb things. So what happens if we do a lift vertical while the truck is already in there? Ha-ha! <laughs> that happens. You actually lift the whole trailer, and you can almost drive through that gap, it looks like, doesn't it? Can we? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, now we can just cut the truck in half, looks like. All right. Cut the truck. Ha-ha! <laughs> 
That's awesome. All right, can we get it out again? And then back to the ground so it's normal? Not quite. Oh, yes. Yes, we can. Now, can we get the truck back to the ground and then put it in there once again? Uh, maybe. It's so damaged you can't actually because it's lifted up in the air. So we're going to just reset it so it's flat in the ground. And then we're going to park our truck on it and then bring it in once again. And then we're going to do things a little bit different. I think we overshot that just a tad. There we go. So bring it up and then bring it horizontal. And once the truck is in there, we're going to go and back it in. Ooh, it's starting to fall off though. Okay. Got to do a little bit of maneuvering to make sure it doesn't actually fall off of this thing. There we go. Good maneuvering, YBR. Thanks, YBR. And we're going to bring this thing out. Move the truck forward. We'll just park it right on the edge of things. Like right as close as we can as that. And then we're going to lower this. Do our horizontal again. And then we're under it. This is where things start to get weird, isn't it? And then we do a vertical. And we can crush the truck. It doesn't crush it that much, but it crushes it good. That roof is super crushed. And you really can't see much because of the way everything is, unfortunately. And I might be able to make it extend up. I don't know. Let's see. This might just make it worse. I'm not sure. There we go. Actually, it made it better. So you can actually see the truck. And we've completely detached the top of this thing. But it was cool watching it, right? So I wonder, if we just kind of grab this and gently pull it, will it come separate from the trailer? Or is it actually still attached? It's pretty much just completely separated from the trailer. We pulled it off super easily. That's terrible. All right, we'll reset the truck, reset the trailer. And here's something I haven't mentioned. Uh, if you have it where the trailer is all closed up, so let me close it up real quickly. And then you reset it, bad things happen. The trailer munches itself to parts. That's the best way I can describe it. It munches itself. So here you go. Just like that. That's why I kind of hit that earlier. I didn't let you guys really see it resetting because it's so awkward. Now you can fix it. The first way is to know what's already done and then you just undo it and it goes like that and it's perfectly fine the other way is to do a hard reset that's the reset you do when it puts it in whatever position you're at so that's the control r reset so if you do a control r like right there it will save the spot and reset all the settings so it just stays like that and as i was watching that i had another idea what happens if we try to crush a car with this thing although i don't think the pickup truck will fit so we need something a little bit shorter we'll just go simple sunburst nothing fancy and we're gonna see if we can crush a car with this i don't think it can because it doesn't have like a lot of weight behind it but it crushed it inside of the trailer, so maybe it can. That looks like a good enough of a spot. And then crushing mode does nothing. It just tips the trailer a little bit. Yeah, there's no damage to this car at all. You can get the trailer back onto its feet. And what if we try to, like, slam into the car? Nope, that just breaks the trailer completely. All right, reset the trailer. And then here's another thing. I saw it almost tip over when we had the... Uh, truck in there what if we have a real truck we get a t-series and put it on there and try to lift it in obviously it won't fit that's not the point the point is can we tip it over by trying to make it fit if not we could go with something a little bit smaller like a uh, beast that's a little bit smaller it's still a big vehicle but it's smaller all right we're gonna have to overshoot this because the steering on this thing is so poor and then we can go ahead and come at it from this direction there we go. Ooh, it is tipping hard already. All right, that's about as much as I'm going to get on this thing, so we'll just stop it there. You know, it actually looks like it almost could fit. It won't, but it looks like it almost could. And then lift vertical. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All I've done is ruin everything. Oh, well, we might as well do the lift horizontal as well. And then close the door. Yep, that worked great. Wow, the door really crushes. Oh, my goodness. And what, what is this? What is this? What is this? The trailer's just alive now. He's like, I'm leaving. This is ridiculous. I kind of want to take a look at the truck, though. So we're going to reset the trailer and... Wow! That thing is mangled! Not expected to be that badly mangled. All right, here's another dumb idea. Can we just use that as a crusher? So we need to get it on ground level. To do that, we're going to have to, like, remove the whole lower suspension section or the two... Oh, we can't remove it. Well, that's not good. You really can't do much about that then. Because there's no no removable option there. Oh, well. We could put wood pallets inside of it. What? Like, this is probably not something you're supposed to do with the mod, but I'm trying it anyways. So there are wood pallets in there, right? Okay. I guess you could fit a car behind them. Sure. Just has to be like a pigeon or something. I think it'll fit. So real careful now. Could you fit a pigeon if you put them in like this? It almost looks like you could. 
Like, it's not gonna fit good. It might crunch it a little bit, but it might fit. Actually, you know what? All the weight's in the front, so we're gonna wanna put it front in first, not back in first. So, quick spin around. And let's see here if this will work. So, we gotta put it real close. That's as close as I probably can go. And we go to this. All that extra weight should make sure it doesn't tip over, at least. There we go. Woo! This is gonna work. I've never put a car into the trailer like this before, but I think it'll crush it in, won't it? Yeah! Ha! That's awesome. And take a look at the pigeon. It is... <laughs> it has a sad trailer now. But it does fit. I'm gonna try to drive it around some. Just grab another T-Series again. It's like I just unspawned the T-Series, right? Why am I getting it again? I didn't plan this actually out, okay? I just thought of that at the moment. So real quick attachment here. I do notice the trailer is kind of jacked up. It is not looking pretty here. All right, set it there. Attachment button, click. Can you attach? That should be good, right? There we go, attaching. And then we're just gonna do some quick driving, make sure it actually stays in there and doesn't uh, fall out or glitch out or something. Suspension test should be good for that. Gives it some bumps and stuff. It looks like it'll stay. It will stay in there. That's awesome. And there are wood planks in there as well, because why not? <laughs> you know, they're still there. Nothing's happened to them yet. All right, let's go ahead and try to hit a jump with this thing and try to just remove the top of the trailer or something. Pretty sure that's what'll happen here. It might actually hit my truck. I don't know for sure. So here we go. Whoop. Oh, we missed it. No, oh, we didn't. We removed the whole trailer. We just removed the whole trailer. How's the pigeon looking? It's starting to fall out because of that. Ha! <laughs> I like how the trailer's up on two wheels like this, all super dramatic looking. You know what it makes you want to do? Slam into it. Where's my where's my truck going? Are you gonna do a quick 180 and you gonna slam into that thing? Okay, I say quick 180, but the turning radius is about half a mile, so it's a slow 180. Here we go. Speed it up. It was going like 50 miles per hour before I slowed it down. Where is it coming from? There it is. Maybe go a little bit to the left. So we hit it nice and centered. Get a little bit of slow-mo. Ooh, there's a lot of weight in there. I forgot. I figured it would plow through, but we got the wood too. That did not plow through. That just wrecked itself. Okay. I think we need to do at least one dramatic crash with a fully loaded trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and load this thing up and I'll be right back. Actually, while I was loading this up, I had an idea I wanted to test. So if you load the cars into it, and then you go to the trailer parts, and you remove the car transport add-on, does it get you an open-air trailer, basically? Yeah! Look at that! If you just want the cars in an open-air trailer, this is great, because you just install the mod, you put the cars in there, and then you remove it, and that works perfect! Although I do want it for the collision, because I want to make use of the platform. So we're going to go back to it, keep the doors open so you can see everything, and then we're going to grab that Abishu Miramar I spawned up a second ago that you didn't see because it was off camera and I also damaged in the process of spawning it up. Don't ask. I spawned it inside of another vehicle. That's what happened. It got all messed up because of that. Anyways, we're going to freshen it up and we're going to park it on this platform and drive with the platform. Now, we're not going to have it on the ground, though. No, no, we're going to have it in the air because that sounds like the most fun way to possibly do this. So let's find the trailer again, going through every possible vehicle, it seems like. And actually, it was every vehicle. That was the last possible vehicle I could get to cycling through them. And then we're going to line up the truck, and this thing is going to pull hard to the side. I know that already. But I only want to keep it in a straight line, so it shouldn't be that hard. Alright, stop. Attach trailer. Good, 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 good. And then we're going to watch this from a good camera angle, hopefully. And we got to get through here safely. So I'm going to go a little bit slow through here just to make sure I don't mess up here and... Get everything falling off the trailer too early because I want to slam into a wall or something. Go careful, careful, careful. Oh, stay on there, stay on there, yeah. Whew. That was a little bit worrisome though. You start bouncing into the air a little bit. Oh no! Whoopsie! I would usually edit something like that out, but that was just kind of so unexpected and dumb. I'm gonna leave it in and I'm gonna reset everything up and try again. Okay, so to make up for the delays, I added an additional car. There's now an Ibishu Pigeon there as well. So we have five cars in the trailer, the truck itself, and then the trailer. So technically, this is going to be in terms of like what BMG Drive considers a vehicle, a seven-car 
impact all at once. This is going to be a little bit chaotic. And I don't, I'm afraid to try to do any steering right here because it is so lopsided. I feel like if I try to go to the right at all, it'll just flip over. And there's really not much over there to the left to crash into. Well, or the, the right, really. There's not a lot to crash into on grid map, period. So we're just going to go straight at the wall and slam into that at about 50-something miles per hour, which is a pretty good speed. This is one of those crashes where so much is going to be going on. You need full slow-mo. So eight times until we get right up to the wall and then a hundred times right there so we can really just watch it happen in here. So first off, I guess, focus on the truck and then the trailer starts to hit the truck. The truck is getting crunched and then let's take a look at these cars in the back. I think the uh, Miramar might just shoot directly off of this thing. It has so much momentum. Drive shaft is broken. Cars are moving. Cars are going. Oh, this is just... This is what in the world have I done? <laughs> the car is falling off. I have no idea how fast it's actually going. I mean, I see it moving at 100 times slow mo. It has to have a pretty good amount of speed. And apparently, the pigeon is going along too for this one. Maybe the pigeon's getting stuck inside the trailer though. I don't know. We'll speed this up to 16 times so you can actually see what's going all over it. So there goes the Miramar. <laughs> it's double car collision. <laughs> that looks funny. How about these guys inside? The Moonhawk went under the bolide. I did not see that happen. It just it just did. And then we got the 200BX looking okay. And that's pretty much the end of the crash. That was one heck of a crash. There was stuff going on all over the place. I don't think I can end on something better than that. So until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.